Hey, this is Roy Richardson, and this is geared towards CPT 242. But if you need to know how to completely uninstall MySQL, that's what this video is about. Why would you need to completely uninstall? Well, maybe you did an install and something went wrong. And unfortunately, what I found with MySQL is that it doesn't let you install it again if there's been a mistake. If something was configured, misconfigured, or set up incorrectly, also, if you've installed version 8 and you've enabled the, the high level of encryption that it adds, then, well, MySQL Workbench won't connect to it. So we're going to talk about how to completely uninstall MySQL. So I'm going to show you. This PC has MySQL installed on it, and we're going to uninstall it. So the first step for uninstalling MySQL, and I recommend uninstalling all of it, is we want to go to Control Panel. So here's control panel on my computer. I don't know what OS you're running, but if you're running Windows, that's where it is on my computer. Oh, this is Windows 8 dot change. And you go through the list. And so go and find MySQL. All right. <clears throat> so hang on, it's still going through the list of all the software installed. All right, so here's MySQL. So I'm gonna install MySQL server right here. So I select it from the list. Notice the three softwares from the Oracle Corporation there. We're going to get rid of those, but we want to do it in a specific order. Um, we can get rid of SQL Workbench first. I'm going to do that. Watch this, okay? This is the easy part, uninstalling here. It gets more technical after we do the uninstalls here. So hang on, and you'll see what I mean. And yes, we want to uninstall it. I have company. <laughs> say hi. Hop on and say hi. Hi, this is my daughter Alyssa. She's helping me with a video today. All right, so then next we're going to uninstall the MySQL database. So here we go. Uninstall. Yes. So this is the easy part. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure, this is going great. Yep. Yes. And then, last but not, well, I actually installed the wrong thing first, but that's fine. You're just going to get rid of all the MySQL stuff. Yes. So, adios and goodbye. All right. And now it says, hey, there's a service running. Do you want me to completely uninstall that? Yes, yes, I do. Now, if it fusses about it again, we'll go to services and stop that MySQL service. All right. So if you look now, you see nothing for MySQL installed. However, that's not 100% true. So um, here's a web page that I've gone to that shows you all the pieces. And we have to go and manually delete these pieces because, unfortunately, MySQL in this current installation leaves pieces behind. So... We did the first step, go to control panel, panels, remove, and we uninstall all that stuff. So now we're going to go to folders, and here's what the problem is. We have to go in and enable hidden files and folders to be seen so that we can accomplish what we got to do. All right. So the problem is, is that by default, Windows hides files and folders. So we have to, again, go back to control panel. Here's control panel, and I just type folders here. I like to use a little search function. All right, show hidden files and folders. See that right here? So on mine, you're going to see it's already been selected, but right here, I like these two things. Where it says hide extensions for known file types, uncheck that if you haven't already. And then the other is, where is that at? Ah, here we go. Right here it says hidden files and folders. Show hidden files and folders. So that's not enabled by default. You probably says don't show hidden files and folders. So you need to select show hidden files and folders so that you can see the folders that we need to see in order to delete them. So basically, the folders that were created by MySQL, it doesn't cleanly remove those. And so we have to set those two options to be able to get rid of them. 
Okay, I'm gonna close control panel. All right, so bring up folders. Okay, so first I'm gonna go to program files. <clears throat> and it's probably an Oracle. Well, look, nope, it's not there. So I don't see MySQL, so those are gone. This time it chose to uninstall them, so they're missing. We'll go and take a look at our path that's in the, the web page there. So look, so under Program Files, MySQL, and as you can see, there is no MySQL, so it did uninstall that completely, but we're not done yet. Okay, so now we want to go to the x86. So if you're not aware, for 64-bit programs, they go under per C colon slash program files. For 32-bit programs, like the older versions of Windows and ones that haven't been optimized for Windows 8 or 10 or Windows 7 even, it goes under a folder called program files x86. So we're going to go there and we'll look and see if we see a MySQL. Okay, and this time it uninstalled it all the way. And usually these two folders aren't the ones that's going to trip you up. You'll see here in a second the one that usually trips us here. All right, and it's program data. That's where, that's a hidden folder that you don't see. And so we have to go, and that's why you have to show hidden folders. Okay, so that's program data. This is a hidden folder. You don't see it. If you haven't gone to control panel and tell it to show hidden files and folders, you will not see this folder. All right, so we're going here, and I'm gonna drag this into view so you can see it better. And here it is. This folder right here is what's probably storing that information about the valid configuration that happened when you try to do the install and something blew up. And so, if you installed the previous, the, the newest version of MySQL and then you want to revert back to the old version, this has to go away in order for you to be able to do that because it's telling it, hey, use a high level encryption. And since we're just doing a test environment, so there we go. So that's gone. And usually that takes care of the problem. Uh, we're going to check one more thing before we say, yep, it's done. All right. And then under your user ID, so. Okay, under your user ID, and this is also a hidden folder you don't see normally, app data right here. Okay, under app data, and then let's see, it sits under roaming, so we check roaming. And again, we're looking for a MySQL folder. And there it is. All right, so bye. Go away. Delete. So we're deleting the MySQL folders. All right. That should make it possible for you to install MySQL successfully. If you're still getting error out of that, then I suggest a Google search on whatever error message you're getting. But that, if you do those steps, and I know this is a little technical for some, that will make it possible for you to install MySQL. That's it. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy the video.